today we're going to be demonstrating a mandible x-ray. Uh, the routine views for a mandible will be a PA and then bilaterally you will be doing uh, lateral views of the mandible we call a general survey. There's actually, uh, according to what area of the mandible we're looking at, I'm going to demonstrate uh, it, the views that you actually do for different parts of the mandible. So first off we're going to put the shield on the patient to the back. And I'm going to have you face the board there for me. And we're going to, just like you would do it for a PA skull, we're going to have the OML perpendicular. I'm going to tuck your chin down. Forehead's going to touch. I'm going to have, get it to the OML is perpendicular to the IR, making sure the head is straight. And then we're going to center up. Central ray should, I'm going to open up my collimation so we can see. I want to exit at the nasion. I'm sorry, I said at the nasion. This is where I was actually going to perform that one. We're going to actually exit at the lips. We're doing a mandible. I apologize. So we're going to exit at the lip. Okay, so we're exiting at the lip. Calmation should actually be to the skin margins. And then we want to go to the TMJ to make sure we have all the mandible on there. And then I'm going to. center to the film and I'm going to have my left marker and put on here. We are to the M, uh, MSP. And again it's going to be exiting at the lip junction. This technique should be about 73 to 77 kV center cell and this is our PA mandible. Now what some places do have, uh, you do a town's view for the mandible. And the only difference is you're going to center at the level of the nasion. And it's actually just going to go through the mandible. So some sites do have you do that. Uh, it's just like the town's views we've shown you before, uh, but it's just going to center just a little bit lower. The next view I'm going to demonstrate is going to be a lateral. It's called an axial lateral. So I'm going to have you put your right side of your face against there for me. Now I don't actually want her head to be touching. I want her to be away from the board somewhat. Now your book will actually have you uh, angle 50, or 25 degrees set flat. And one of the problems that we've had with that is sometimes when you angle, especially someone a broader shoulder person, someone maybe my size, when you angle up, the shoulder tends to get in part of the mandible. So what we've done is change it just a little bit. What we're going to first off do is we're going to get the head into a true lateral position. MSP is parallel to the film. We're going to have the IPL perpendicular to the film and again the IOML should be perpendicular to the front edge. Okay, So we've got our head in a true lateral. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tilt approximately 25 degrees and extend the chin just slightly and we're going to center to that. So we're going to have to move her back just slightly. It should be when you're coming down you want to come through the side closest to the board here, the right side. I'm going to open up just to get all the way to the momentum. Make sure I've got all the way up past the TMJ on the other side. And I can see that I do. And we're doing the right side. Now this would be if we are looking at the ramus. This will be for the ramus. Now the routine views that we do is for a general survey. So we're going to go from the head being in a true lateral position. We're going to extend the chin. Then we're going to tilt 25 degrees. And then we are going to rotate about 15 degrees toward the board and then re-extend. And our centering, again, should be coming through about the middle of the mandible there, as you can see. Collimation again will be past the TMJ. And then we know we have uh, the right side on there. We're going to adjust, make sure that we are centered to our film. And this is called our general survey x-ray. The next view we would, I'm going to show you is if we were interested in the body. From a true lateral position, head true lateral, we again are going to extend the chin up, rotate the head toward the board about 25 degrees. From this position we're going to rotate in 30 degrees and then re-extend the chin. We're going to have to adjust her back slightly so that we're coming through the mandible again about mid-mandible. Okay, Collimation stays above the TMJs and we have the entire mandible on there. 
this is for the body of the mandible. One more that we're going to show you is we're going to get the head again in a true lateral position. From a true lateral position, this is for the mentum. Okay? We're going to extend the chin. We're going to rotate the head toward the uh, board again about 25 degrees. We're going to rotate from this position 45 degrees. Re-extend. And then we're going to have to adjust her forward because you're coming down from the angle here. So it's again about the middle of the mandible. And this is for the mentum. So it's coming out right here at the mentum. So our culmination is two TMJs. And again, we are including the entire mandible. And those are the views that you would do for a mandible, but you're going to do them bilaterally. So if the routine view is the general survey. So it would be the PA mandible, the general survey bilaterally. And these are our mandible x-rays.